is a battle line that has been drawn that literally will put women's lives at risk, that undermines our civil rights, our human rights. This is a line that's been drawn about whether we are going to criminalize women, whether we are going to be arresting women for making decisions about their bodies. We now must fight. For those of us who believe that love is love, is love, is love, we now must fight. And so don't tell me anything is impossible. American history is a perpetual testimony to the achievement of the impossible. Don't tell me that this battle is one that's already lost. I do not believe that. Those who worked for abolition didn't believe that. Those who worked for suffrage didn't believe that. Those who worked for civil rights, they kept on fighting, kept on believing. We are the inheritors of their struggle. And so now we must dig in. People around this country are worried and they are right to be worried. We've got 50 years of hard work that's on the line. Women's access to safe legal abortions on the line. Marriage equality on the line. Voting rights on the line. Worker rights on the line. Environmental rights on the line. What's at stake? The future of America is at stake. And let me be clear to all of you, and let me be clear to America, we are down in this fight, but we are not out. <laughs> and understand, people are rising up. Donald Trump is not king. No one makes it to the Supreme Court without going through the United States Senate. And in the United States Senate, Everyone has a vote.